to raise the beast and in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch uh, second gen with 4.1 uh, using Snow Breeze uh, version 2.0.2 now the first thing you want to do is uh, download Snow Breeze um, I'll post the link in the description and you want to download your uh, your restore firmware for your iPod you want to download the uh, the, uh, the version 4.1 so the Snow Breeze site would look something like this and you want to go into Snow Breeze 2 and you want to download that and to get the firmware the website would look something like this go to the very top so iPod iPhone iPad firmware download and you want to go to the, to the iPod touch section and you want to find the iPod touch 2G uh, parentheses 4.1 and it should say dash 8B117 now you want to download that file now once you got both of those files downloaded uh, the iPod firmware you should have it on your desktop and it should look like a Lego with a musical note and an iPod on the very side of it and the snow breeze file you have to extract it um, using WinRAR or whatever or an archive archiver uh, the snow breeze file should look like like a snow like a snowflake uh, you just open up the, uh, the zip file I have right here once you download it and then you just want to, you know, click on the snow breeze, or you want to drag it out onto your desktop. And that's what I did. Now you want to connect your iPod Touch to your computer, and let's get started. So what you want to do is go into uh, Snow Breeze. You don't want to double click into Snow Breeze. You want to uh, allow your computer to run it. Uh, so Snow Breeze, the software is not for commercial use. If you have bought this uh, software, demand a refund. It is not for sale. We are not responsible for any damage this software may do to any of your equipment. Be warned. So I'm just going to go for OK. Screw it. Uh, then you want to click on the blue arrow on the very bottom. Now it says please select the mode, then click next to continue. There's simple mode and there's expert mode. Let's see what simple mode is. Simple mode recommended to, pe to people. I don't know what to add. Simple mode adds Cydia, Snow Breeze, Boot Recovery logos, and other recommended stuff automatically. Now, Expert mode uh, lets you customize your options. All right. So I'm gonna do Expert uh, because it's uh, you know way cooler, and plus you can do your own boot logo. Now, click on the blue arrow. Now it says IPSW selection. Now you want to find that software that you downloaded from that uh, iPod website. Uh, just download that uh, restore firmware okay double click on that processing it you just you know checking out if uh, the firmware is good now it says urgent notice is your iPod touch 2G an MB or MC model now I have my iPod touch in DFU mode right now so I really can't show you uh, uh, where exact but I can tell you where it is so what you want to do is uh, go into your iPod you know just go in there uh, go into your settings that little thing with the gear the gray the gray icon and then you want to go into general and then in about and then when you scroll down and find the model and it should say MB or MC MC is just a newer iPod second gen uh, mine is MB I already checked it out so MB now it says IPSW verified. Click next to continue. So you want to click next. Now you find something like this. Select any of the following options, then click the arrow to continue. Now um, on the simple mode, it just doesn't do. It it just builds the IPSW after you click next. But since we're in expert mode, we can uh, you know customize our own deals. Now we can go into general and click next. Now it says select any of the options below that you want to be applied to your custom IPSW. Now it says activate the iPhone. We can't do that because obviously this is an iPod Touch. Enable background wallpaper. I'm going to do that. Enable battery percentage. I'm going to do that. Enable na native uh, multitasking. I'm going to do that. Make IPSW NOR only. I'm not sure what that is, but it tells you right there. Use iBooty method. New boot ROMs only. So I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff. I just want this other cool stuff here. Now you want to click next. 
It now says custom apps, download apps from your favorite re repos to include in your IPSW. I don't have any, so I'm just going to click next. Now, this is cool. Custom boot logos. Now, uh, when you get your IPSW all ready to go using Snowbreeze, it will automatically uh, give you this recovery logo and this boot logo. The boot logo is alright, but I really want to do my own. So, um, I'm just going to browse and find one. I already downloaded one. It looks kind of cool, okay. Um, y all you want to do is just uh, to find these logos. Just you know, Google it. Custom boot logos for iPod Touch, and it'll show you all these cool pictures that you can do boot logo and recovery. I like the recovery. It looks uh, pretty sick, so I'm just gonna leave that one. I'm gonna click next. And now it brings you back to this main menu. Now after you've done all that good stuff, if you found you know your picture and all that, you want to build the IPSW. You want to click next. Now it's building the uh, the hacked firmware for your iPod. Um, this does take a while, uh, so I'm gonna pause it here and I'm gonna come back. All right, so uh, once Snowbreeze uh, completes your IPSW, it should say done with the green check mark. Now it says uh, Snowbreeze seems to have successfully created your IPSW. This file will be located on your desktop. Okay. Now it says, is your iPod Touch 2G already jailbroken? If it is, click yes. If it's not, then say no. Now, this is um, DFU Helper, okay? It will teach you how to, uh, you know, put your device into restore mode. So just follow these steps and you will go into recovery mode. Because you have to be in recovery mode in order to, you know, get this going here, get your iPod Touch jailbroken. Now I'm gonna click uh, close because I already, uh, I already have my uh, my iPod in DFU mode. Okay, and I'll post a link in the description on how to do that if, uh, if, you're, if you're really not feeling the uh, the snow breeze uh, deal. So open up your iTunes and hopefully uh, your iTunes is updated to the newest version of iTunes. Uh, you really need the new version. Uh, if you don't, then just screw it, forget it, just get out of here. Um, so once you have your iPod in DFU mode, you know it should say not available, not available, not available. So iPod. So now you want to uh, go into restore, but first you want to click or no, not click, but hold Shift and then click restore. Now a uh, little window should open up, and you want to find the the IPSW that Snowbreeze created for you. Now here it is. It should say Snowbreeze iPod Touch 2G-4.1. Uh, you want to double click that, and now it's extracting the software. All right, so. Um, you should have successfully uh, restored your iPod to a new firmware, to a hacked firmware. So uh, I'm going to disconnect my iPod to the computer. And I'm going to show you guys what I got here. So now I got that background wallpaper, which is pretty sick. You guys can see that. And then uh, now you should have an icon called Cydia. And if you have that icon, then that means you successfully did it. So I'm gonna show you guys my uh, my custom boot logo that I have here, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna power it off. Now I'm gonna turn it on. And there you go, my custom boot logo that I put in there. So yeah, um, that's how you hack your iPod. Um, Touch second gen using Snow Breeze. Sn yeah, Snow Breeze. Um, if you guys have any question, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Just post a comment. Um, don't forget to subscribe and rate. Um, please look forward on other videos uh, on iPod Touch. Thanks for watching. This is Raised to Be Sunny Off. Thanks.